Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Stable update. I'm super late making this video because I actually didn't even realize that the Belgian Warmbloods had been added to the game, but they have. Um, so I'm gonna check the map first one at Fort Pinter of course. It's been a while since I've been on my main account, um, which is why <laughs> I'm still in- wait are there two at Fort Pinter? Is that supposed to be right? I thought there's usually only one at Fort Pinter. Okay, well that's different. Um, yeah, he's the new Belgian Warmbloods. <laughs> okay, well, there's two here to check out. Alright, so there's this bay one. Um, not a huge fan of the really big indentations above the eyes. Um, like just how, um, defined they look on this horse. Like they, like I... I know this is a natural thing, like my horse in real life kind of has this, but on this horse it, it kind of looks like someone hit it in the head with a hammer and there's a dent left behind. Um, really nice on the um, coat detail. And I like that they didn't make them like super matte. Like some of the horses they, they made like really matte because they were trying to get away from the ultra shiny of them, um, but I like that they're adding like a healthy shine to the horses now. So, oh, look at the little interesting spots on this front hoof. Um, face marking looks pretty realistic, I gotta say. Uh, so far I'm not really liking this horse. The eyes are too light for me. I love dark eyes. I'm not a fan of the, the mane. It looks like, like, parents when they cut their kids' hair. Um, oh yeah, I can get a better overall look of it this way. Um, it may just be the coat color on this horse, but I'm not really liking the look of them. Oh, that's why it's available here. This is, um, I think this is like a special one that's based on a real life horse. That's why this one's also here as well as the other one. That, that, that explains it. So this is H&M All In. Um, hmm, okay. Let's read the, de the description. Oh, okay, so this is different to the, this is a different description. H&M All In, a living legend and one of the best horses of all time. Now you have the chance to ride Peter Fredrickson's, is that meant to be Peter or is it actually Peter? Um, number one horse, H&M All In, as your own horse in Star Stable. I mean, it's not that exciting since I've never even heard of this horse, but okay. <laughs> Um, the question is, will you be able to ride all in one as well as Peter? Well, considering I can't fall off this horse, um, that's, that's something. So I'd say yes, because I can't fall off this horse and he can. <laughs> Released as a collaboration between Star Stable and H&M We Love Horses. The talented and eager Belgian Warmblood is one of Europe's never... Oh, newer Warmblood breeds. In the 1950s, Belgian breeders combined Belgium's robust Belgian draft horse, which would be cool if they added that, um, with top sport horse bloodlines from across Europe to create the Belgian Warmblood, a powerful yet elegant sport horse. The Belgian Warmblood is a medium weight horse and typically has strong hindquarters and a compact muscular body. Uh, their level-headed temperament and athleticism make them perfect for many disciplines, but they're most often seen snagging ribbons in the show jumping ring. Okay. I mean, I like the look of the body shape. Um. This area, I think it's the croup. Looks a bit weird. I, <laughs> I've owned a horse for eight years and I still suck at horse anatomy because I've never really taken the time to memorize horse anatomy. Uh, you can get the, uh, I think all of them for 850 star coins. And this guy you can get from level one and this guy you can get from level one. I'm not sure about the others though. Um, so there's this one, which looks already looks a lot cuter. Um, I, I'm really loving this dark, dark bay color. It's got a little sock. Um, oh, it's got a little... I'd like to see these guys with a different mane because I... Oh, wait. I actually can see them with a different mane. Can't, oh, I can't see them with a... Wait. I uh, I think I can if I buy them. Okay, so this is the same description as before, but with a little bit added. Um, the first Belgian Warblood is said to have been imported to Jorvik as a gift to the Bar to Baroness Annabelle Silverglade, 
from a mysterious admirer in an attempt to win her affection. This breed is athletic and tenacious, perfect uh, for an ambitious rider. Let's have a look at the gates. I do like this, um, this horses look better than H&M all in. Okay. Yeah, pretty average looking gates. That canter looks nice. I like that they've got the horse's head on the vertical but not behind it. That looks really nice, the fast canter looks really smooth. The gallop looks a bit weird, just kind of like with the horse's head in the air. Um, but maybe it looks better in motion. Like when you're actually riding it, I mean not, <laughs> not in motion. Um, it's kind of hard to tell here. Um, if I personalize and buy... Okay, so I can't change the mane here. I sh oh wait, yes I can, yes I can. Let's have a look at the different mane styles. Oh good, and it changes the, on the horse in, per, in um, the view there. So we got these braids. Let's have a look at those. So we got these little bumpy braids. And then we got regular. We have these braids, which actually look pretty cute on this horse. Like, they, oh, these look quite realistic. I like that. Is the tail the same? No, it's changed. I really wish they would give us um different um tail like separate tail to main options i don't usually like any sort of braids on horses but the these look really cute on this one um then there's these braids which i think these ones look more realistic than the other ones i think yeah there's more detail these actually looks like actual braids whereas the other ones kind of just look weird bumps um and then what are you are you serious are you telling me there's no long mane option seriously we needed two super short mane options but no nice long mane i always love putting a long mane on my horses this is so disappointing why do we need why do we need two braids and one long braid and these two and no long manes i hate that the longest mane is like this Okay, yeah, that's that's immediately a no on this horse for me. Like, ugh, I just, nope. There's only one horse that I really like this kind of main look on, and that is the, um, the Connemara's. Like, it looks cute on them. Any other horse, I just, oh, I'm so annoyed. These guys kind of remind me of the Thoroughbred. Let's go have a look at the other colors. I'm so mad about that. Why would they not add in a long main option? Like, it doesn't need to be super long, just longer than that shortcut thing. <sighs> okay, so the rest are, uh, was it Silver Glade Manor or Silver Glade? Uh, was it at the Manor or the Riding Arena? I'm just going to double check the news. Hang on. Okay, so apparently it's at the Manor and um, the other ones you can get once you're level eight. That main thing's gonna bug me so much. And they can't just say like, oh, it's the breed doesn't grow long, longer mane. Well, then why do we have some braids that are longer than the short default mane, hmm? Hmm? Okay, what? Okay, that's a loose horse there. Um, where are these guys? And the news said Silverglade Equestrian Center. This is the Silverglade Equestrian Center. Am I just dumb? This isn't it. No, this is a trackener. They do kind of remind me of a trackener and a thoroughbred. Oh, I I went right past them. I'm dumb. Okay. All right. So wait. Are there more colors? That oh, the chestnut is pretty. This reminds me of Ginger from Black Beauty. And if that one was black, it would be like Black Beauty from Black Beauty. Oh, the chestnut is really pretty. Look at that. <laughs> she would look even prettier with a long mane. Like, see, if we could just have a mane this length instead of ugh, this length. I'm I'm so mad. Star Stable, you, you've let me down. You really have. I probably would have bought this horse if it if it had a longer mane. Like, come on. 
Oh, but she's very pretty. Okay, let's go back to the default and let's look at the different cards. Also, this is a different dark bay than we that than what we saw before. Okay. Nice shading. Completely solid. So these horses don't look like they're known for having a lot of markings. Um, either that or Star we just decided to not give them a lot of markings. This chestnut though, I'm really loving this chestnut colour. She would look so pretty with a, with a mane. <laughs> um, and then there's this, wait, is there not like a solid black? Okay, there is a solid black, good. And then there's this one which is almost a buckskin. Would you call this a buckskin? Or would you call it a light bay? I'm not sure. It could be a dark buckskin or a light bay. This one's quite nice. Um, it's one of its feet. One of its feet are in the ground. Um, I like the face marking. It's cute. It's cute. Um, here's the black one. Yeah, the eyes ruin it for me. They're like orangey looking. I want dark, dark brown eyes on a black horse. And it's not like super dark black. Like, um, yeah, it's just, nah. Not, not a fan of this one. And the white one, which is right next to me. This one, oh, sorry, not white, gray. <laughs> it's gray. This one is... Not as pretty as I thought it would be. Um, maybe it would look prettier if I had a longer mane. I always love, love, love long manes on all my horses. How does it look with the braids? Oh, it looks kind of cute with the braids. They definitely look like they have some attitude, don't they? I think I really like the chestnut. The chestnut's definitely my favorite. I feel like this is a horse I would get like on my Phoenix account. Oh, I would so get this horse of Phoenix. She looks like oh she she looks like a mare to me. Um, I really like these. I didn't actually think I would like any of them, but I really like just this particular one. Maybe it's the face marking. Maybe it's the shade of chestnut. It's just really beautiful. The thing that is bugging me though is this mane. Why? Why would they deprive me of a nice? wavy mane and instead give me so many braids and two short mane options did we really need that star stable just just imagine this girl with a nice nice wavy mane like it doesn't even need to be super long oh <sighs> she is very pretty i don't know if i would get her even with the braids i don't know if i did i'd probably get her on my um Phoenix account because I really don't need more horses on this account um, unless I'm like uh, reincarnating them. Um, anyway, that's my review of these horses. I'm I'm so mad. I'm gonna keep going on about that mane. I'm so mad about it. It's the thing I look forward to most is seeing how they look with different manes. Like just a mane this length would be so nice. It's kind of hard to see. There, a mane this length would be so nice on them. Star Stable, you failed me. Like, even the Akultekis, which are not known for having long manes, even they got a decent mane. Like, this is their default, and they still got a longer mane option than these guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, because otherwise I'm just going to keep ranting about the mane. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think of New Belgian Warmbloods. Um, oh, wait, there's one more thing I wanted to check out. Apparently, yes, there is new... Can I actually equip it on this horse? Is this jumping tackle? Or is it? No, this is the new jumping tackle. What? Ah, I can't look at it on this horse, but I love the new jumping tack. I'm mad that I can't equip it on this horse, even though it's a pretty new horse. Um, but I'm loving the colors, like the blue, the, oh, the green looks good. And look, we got matching boots and matching leg wraps. I'm liking these. I'm very happy about this edition. Very happy indeed. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you guys thought of the new Belgian Warmbloods and if you're as disappointed as I am about the lack of a nice, decent, natural-looking mane. Like, that's all I want, a natural-looking mane. Horses' manes aren't naturally perfectly straight and cut like this. I want a natural-looking mane. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!